Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, just going to kind of show you a project I've been working on for the last few weeks. It's finally nice enough around here that I can get out of the house. It's been just a devastating winter for us up here in Michigan, so it feels good to be able to get out and uh, have some, uh, some warm air to work in. I did get one of the uh, Harbor Freight 45-watt uh, solar kits. came with those three panels there. I had the existing panel there on the right-hand side. It's also a 15-watt panel, so uh, going into the house uh, now, I've got 60 watts of solar going in. It usually puts out about 2.5 amps uh, for a good portion of the day, so not too bad. Um, you know, I, I think that's pretty uh, normal from what I've been seeing uh, from other you know, people on on YouTube and some other videos so I've got a mounted there on the um, ledge between our roof uh, for our house and then it drops down uh, to the roof of the garage and it is facing here to the south so it's the best um, kind of low profile way to mount them if you will um, I'm gonna trim the metal back a little bit so it's a little less noticeable uh, I put them up quick a couple weeks ago and it was about 20 degrees out here so um, they are uh, running off into the center here, and um, they're cable tied together, and they go through the roof um, at this angle here, and that does go down into the garage, so uh, I'll take a few seconds. Uh, we'll go down in the garage and show you uh, kind of how, how they go through and how I've got them in the combiner box down there. So, again, the angle is going to be, it's a good blend between where they need to be in the winter time and where they need to be in the summertime. So um, kind of the lesser two evils, unfortunately, but uh, this should work well for uh, for what I need to do. So we'll see in a few minutes. Hey, right, we're uh, down in the garage now. And you got to excuse my uh, garage. I tried to clean it up a little bit, but right now it's just uh, got a whole winter's full of stuff that's been thrown around. It's been so cold here. So up here, you'll see in the corner there, um, it's where the four solar panels come in uh, to the into the garage here. They go down up here, and I'll show you up here. Um, they come down into this combiner box here. Um, so all four come down here into the combiner box, and they come out with the just one strand of uh, I shouldn't say one strand. Come out to one. Two wires that are 12 gauge wires that go down and then they enter into the basement down around there. So that's kind of the combiner box. They've got here obviously all the positives coming together and then all the negatives coming together. Tied off with some wire nuts. We'll put the panel on or the cover on there, but just want to show everybody what that looks like. Just anywhere you'd see anywhere else, I'm sure. And I'm going to skip the part right now. I'm going to go down the basement uh, later. Um, but the wires run in down through here, and those go into um, the charge controller downstairs. Um, they come back out of the charge controller out here into this battery bank. And I know you've seen my um, uh, golf cart batteries that I've got, and they just finally they finally kick the bucket. So I'm just running two deep cells here. Um, got them um, in parallel together, so they're at 12 volts. Um, and then I've got another bank of two batteries here that uh, is actually connected to an uninterrupt uninterruptible power supply downstairs um, that my cable modem and my router are hooked to. So that's supplying, um, uh, this is the negative here, negative and positive, um, supplying uh, 13 volts to this battery constantly to keep them floated. And then if we lose power, obviously these will run my cable modem and my uh, router downstairs so it's kind of way that it is uh, hooked up and then the batteries both banks run out and that's uh, I drilled holes in the hole so more cleanup I got to do but they go out um, there and uh, go into the basement and we'll uh, we'll continue down there in a little while all right so I thought I'd uh, shoot uh, kind of the third part of the solar video uh, this is kind of where I have things uh, coming into the uh, the basement down here. Um, you saw up in the top uh, upstairs where um, the solar panels came down in the combiner box. So they come in down through here 
and uh, go into this disconnect box here we got solar coming in disconnect here and then this comes out and goes down to the charge controller here so uh, input from the solar panel comes uh, into the charge controller and then goes out this wire and uh, goes back up into the battery bank and you saw the battery bank up there and then the wires came out um, they come in down the side here and then they go into here we've got a fuse in here and we've got a, a 40 amp fuse up here so they come in through the, from the batteries to the fuse and they go into this combiner box here so the batteries come in and then we can either run over here into the radios where we can run all um, of my amateur radio equipment down here on battery power backup if we need to or then um, it'll, it can also come down uh, to um, this inverter here so if we turn that on uh, you know we can run our inverter down here also so that's kind of how the simple solar setup is, is run here at home uh, I don't pull a lot of amperage at this time so the wiring uh, size is not a big a deal for me right now um, everything is set in there so I can change it up if I want to add uh, you know larger gauge wire uh, eventually and I may may do that uh, but um, you know I get about two and a half amps of uh, of solar in for a good portion of the day so it's enough to keep my battery bank out there floated you know if I need to run some uh, some um, you know lighting or you know if we lose power I need to run some things down here on my computer and monitors I did test my computer underneath the desk there and my three monitors along with my router uh, and my cable box with everything on and running at a decent capacity, I'm only pulling about two and a half amps. So that's not too bad with everything running down here. So, um, you know, I'm trying to do some figuring and, and I would not be able to, even if I used my monitors about four hours a day and left the computer running like I do um, constantly, um, I, I still would deplete my battery over a while, so I don't have quite enough solar to keep uh, this room running down here. But uh, you know, maybe we can make some tweaks and, and get things going a little bit better. But uh, just want to throw that out there. And uh, hey, if I do any other uh, um, upgrades, I'll be sure to let everyone know. Have a good one. We'll see you guys.